uh, GMS Walk and Talk. Um, today's topic, women. <laughs> what does the word woman mean? It means servant. All right? Pursuant to Genesis 3 and 16, the woman is really supposed to do what? She's supposed to serve the man. All right? But we're living in a society right now where it's the other way around. These women really believe that we're put on the earth to serve them. Now, a brother that's in the truth, the best way to be in this truth, to be honest with you, is to be by yourself, man. You know? To concentrate on this truth. See, we're at the end right now. And you really don't have time to uh, give to your woman. That's why Paul said, it is written in uh, 1 Corinthians, the seventh chapter, it remaineth that they that have wives be as though they have none. The word wife is another word for woman. So even you brothers that are in the truth, even if you have a woman, if you're really delicate or dedicated to this truth, then you won't have time for your woman. That's right. All right? Just last week, we had what? A three-day stretch, right? Yep. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Where we were just filming when we wasn't in camp, right? We were filming. Yep. Now imagine if we had women, right? The woman would have, a, she would have an attitude. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with getting a piece of ass. Because now we're living in a world where really these women are just a piece of ass. I'll tell you like it is. Amos 7 and 17 says, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. So all these women are whores, man. Hmm. They've been reduced, and it's, it's their fault. They've been reduced to a piece of ass. And have you looked lately? The majority of these women, they're into other women. Lesbianism is, is at an all-time high level. <clears throat> so the point I'm making is you really don't have no woman. You'll get that in the kingdom. You want to deal with reality? reality? Let's talk about reality. I mean, you can talk about fantasy all day, but <laughs> a real man will deal with reality. Reality is you don't have no woman. All right? Yeah, and if you look at the state of these women today, they're completely, totally out of order. They're totally out of order. They have no respect. The majority of them are feminists. Yep. They have a total feminist mind, feminist mentality. They think you're supposed to serve them. They believe that, yeah, they believe that we, us men, were created for them. When it is written, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman is of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman was created for the man. That That's is right. written. That's right. That's in 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. So the best way, these women are insane, especially the so-called black woman. She is totally fucking insane, all right? That's right. Tell you like it is. You want to get into her world, like they got songs out there, I want to know what's in your mind. And you want to get into her world, be my guest. She is totally fucking insane. And let's talk about reality. The majority of, of Israelites that are gonna die is women. Why? Because the majority of Israelites really is women. The Lord said that he would make a man more precious than fine gold. So what does that tell you? A lot of these women, a lot of these women are gonna die, a lot of these men are gonna die, but there are more men, I'm sorry, there are more women then they are men because that's the way the most high made it the most high made it for us to have more than one woman it is written in isaiah 4 and 1 seven women shall be joined unto one man so what does that tell you that tells you that there are more women than there are men right yep <clears throat> so 
the Lord said two-thirds of his people shall be cut off and die. That's Zechariah 13 and 8, right? So what does that tell you? There are going to be a lot more women dying than men. So, that's the, you got to look at reality, all right? Yeah, if you think you're going to get a woman and she's going to totally do right by you because you're in the truth, you, 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 you're living in fantasy. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, the Apostle Paul said, you shall have trouble in the flesh. He said, if you burn and you marry, you have sinned not. Marry means you have sex. That's the purpose of a woman. What's the main purpose of a woman? That's right. To have sex. Yep. Then after that comes, she's supposed to give you pleasure. Then after that comes help you, meet. a help meet. She's supposed to help you out. Then if, if you ha you and her, the most I forbid, have children together. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Well, again, this world, yeah. it is written, it, the days shall, shall come. come when it shall be said, blessed are the barren. We're in those days now. Because these women now, they're using your children as uh, paychecks. Yep. All right. If you if you have any, uh, if you have any uh, discrepancy with your woman, now she can run to Esau. Right. Yep. She can run to Esau and force you to pay child support. Yeah. Even if you already been paying and you try to work out something with her without the courts, right. she still wants to get the courts involved. She wants to because that is her God. You got these guys talking about the queens. They believe in the Most High. They no, they, no, no woman don't believe in the Most High. <clears throat> you got the majority of men that don't believe in the Most High. Now, if the woman is in the vessel, how the hell could they believe in the Most High? Yeah, the word feminine. Their Most High is you. That's right. All right? And like the brother pointed out, the word feminine from the uh, Latin femina, fem or fi meaning faith, mina meaning minus uh, loss. Loss of faith, minus faith. That's what the word feminine literally means. It means minus faith. Now, I'll give you an example. Job's woman. Yep. You want an example? Job. Now, Job, when he was doing good, his woman was all into the zone then. All right? <laughs> but as soon as Job started doing bad, what did she, what did she tell Job? Hmm. She told, she tell Job, or she told Job, curse the Most High and die. That's what she told Job, all right? Dang. And ain't none of you out there have, have, a, have a woman that's on the level of Job's woman. Because women back then, they had a little uh, integrity. As it is written, for some have turned aside after, after Satan. And that <clears throat> was written, what, 2,000 years ago. So can you imagine now? All of them have turned aside after Satan. If you want me to sound optimistic, where the woman is concerned, forget it. That's right. Forget it ain't going to happen. Hey, even right? Solomon said that he hasn't found one righteous woman among a thousand. Right, because women were not created to be righteous. All right? The only way they're going to be righteous is if the man is righteous, because the man is going to force them to be righteous. Remember, the woman is under our rule. That's right. She's our subject. She follows. And naturally, if you look at a woman, the nature of a woman, the nature of a woman is to be a groupie, to follow. Yep. Why do you think she's all into the so-called white man? Because he's the star right now. Right. Yeah, like Elder Tar said years ago, nat a woman is naturally a follower. She's not rebellious. She's right. just rebellious to a man. That's why women don't make good carpenters, because they don't have vision, man. To be a good carpenter, you have to have vision. You have to actually see the house in your mind and then physically build it. Yep. Women don't have that quality. All right? Why do you think that the Lord chose 12 men? That's... That, shows you the nature of a woman right there if the woman is equal to the man why wasn't even one of the apostles a woman <laughs> because women don't have that nature uh, that nature all right so, women are out of order totally out of order so the, the point of the, this short talk or the short discussion is that you're gonna get your woman in the kingdom all right yep the Lord said, wait ye upon him till he rise up to the prey. When he said to wait upon him, meaning to wait on every strata uh, um, of our, of our being, yeah. of, uh, uh, every strata of our existence, yeah. which includes women. Yeah, that's why Yahweh, I told Peter, 
He that forsaketh all now shall yep. receive a hundredfold. Yeah, and uh, and then right, and then the word the word wife is mentioned in there. Yep. He that forsaketh wife, forsaketh children. That's a part of waiting. That's a part of waiting. You yep. know. He that forsaketh wife, forsaketh children, forsaketh houses, forsaketh lands. All right. So that's what it takes. That's the kind of dedication that it takes to be in this truth. That's why, again, it is written, it, it is like a man that sitteth on count of the course. Right. Whether he's able to finish, finish right. that which he have built. That's right. So part of that course is that you might have to chuck your woman aside. Yeah. All right? You're not going to go hand in hand into the kingdom, man. It's not going to happen. This, this, this journey of being in this truth, you're by yourself. That's right. And you're going to learn that. You brothers that are sincere that are really into this truth. Even as the example of Job. Well, all that own. hell, right, all that hell that Job was catching really he caught it by himself. His woman yeah. wasn't by his side because his woman told him, curse the most high and die. Yep. So what does that tell you? And then you quoted, uh, what is that, Philippians? Yep. Work out your own salvation. Fear and trembling. Through, uh, fear and trembling. So now if, if your woman, if she's Again, it is written, to be fair, it says, if she pleased to dwell with you, and I'll tell you like it is, we're all men here. The, re one of the number one reason why a woman will dwell with you is because you put it on her real good. That's right. It. That's it. That's right, because you, you, you hammer her with the rod, and she can't get enough of it. When you have sex with her, her mind is, is on planet Zatok somewhere. All right? Yeah. We're all men here. That's right. I've dealt with women. And when, when I put the stroke on them real good, I, you see, you see her, she's a totally different person. Yeah. All right? She is humble. So now you have a brother in the truth, right? She's humble, that's right. You have a brother in the truth. He's putting it on the woman real good. But he doesn't shirk his duty. He does what he has to do for the right. word of the Lord. That woman will be with you. All right? That's our power. <laughs> when it comes to the woman. By the way, we used to have rods as, as long as our legs. There's a reason for that. Because that's the main way you humble a woman. By the way, when you read in the scripture, when it says, and Jacob knew Rachel, means Jacob and Rachel had sex. Right. So what's the best way, according to that, to know a woman? To have sex with her. That's right. That's how you know the woman. So it comes down with women, it comes down to uh, physical. Women are physical. Yep. All right? So now the point I'm making is if you're putting it on her real good, you're, you're banging the little man out of the boat, so they say, and she wants to dwell with you, but you're in the truth, you're doing what you're supposed to do, then cool. Let her dwell with you. Yep. But if not, she wants to act a fool, give her her walking papers. Give her her walking papers. And get another woman. Right. But the best way to be, brothers, is to be by yourself. Have your own place. Have your own place. Uh, yeah, that way if the, <laughs> the, if the bitch act up, you could just leave and go to your spot. Exactly. Exactly. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not from it anyway. All right, maybe, take care, maybe man. Maybe a little further down. Oh, this is East Main. This is East Main. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what you want to do? Um, maybe follow us, maybe. Yeah. You know what? We'll take you, you to Main Street. Yeah, we're about to leave. You want to follow us? Yeah. Cause this is East Main Street. No right. problem, man. All right. So. All right. So um, you still got a roll? Yeah. So that's our little talk on the woman today. Yep. GMS info to, uh, info walk. Walk and G talk. GMS info. GMS walk and talk. We'll see you on the next lesson. Shalom. Shalom.